It is with uh, my deepest regret that I must inform you that Richard Collier's playing career in the National Football League has ended. Uh, Richard's path, as some of you know, to the NFL has been a long and arduous journey. Uh, he was virtually unrecruited out of high school, um, went into the regular workforce. He was actually working at Walmart in the produce department. Uh, he was very far away from the NFL. But he kept improving himself, worked on himself academically and athletically, was given the opportunity to go to a junior college. He continued to work there and improve himself. And he went from the junior college to Division II Valdosta State. Uh, and now, Richard has a very difficult road in front of him. Richard has earned everything that he's gotten to this point. No one has handed anything to him. Um, he's a hard worker and he's diligent and he's going to he's going to continue to be that way. Uh, what are your thoughts about it? Very sad. Uh, it's a tragedy this young man was caught up in this uh, in this violence. I really wasn't concerned about him returning. I was more concerned with him as a young man. What do you think? He's able to communicate. He's off the life support, and we'll be able to talk a little bit about that. What we may be able to do. I know his teammates uh, want to be there for him, and uh, we'll try to do something to make it uh, to make things a little more tolerable for him. It's funny how things work. Sometimes you know, you just be at a gas station, you pump, and you know something can happen to you. But um, it just, it's just, it's just unfair that it happened to Rich. I mean, was, this guy was a good guy. He never. Uh, Never started problems with anybody. He didn't want no trouble with nobody. And uh, all he did was want to work hard and, uh, and work. So <clears throat> uh, I visited him a little bit when it first happened. But uh, before then, I um, didn't really get a chance to see him much. You know, it was tough for him and his family. So, um, so. Thanks, Corey. We thought about him. Um, you know, when I was at home by myself, I think about him a lot and comment about it within my own family. And then every day when I start out practicing a game, you know, where he's sat next to me in the stretch lines, you know, it's empty there. And so I think about it a lot. I was thinking about it a lot. And, uh, yeah, it's tough. Um, that's what's going to be tough for me. I rest real close personally, but you know, so many things with him. He's the nicest guy on earth, man. Nicer than I am. Um, I always thought about other people. I always thought about his family. I always thought about his teammates. You know, never put anybody, never put himself before anyone. And, uh, you know, it's just it's heartbreaking to me because, I mean, 